Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We certainly give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endure forever. Yes. Amen. And truly, I can say, I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And the scripture say, enter in the gates with thanksgiving, and enter into his courts with praise. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly want to uh, remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And um, as we talked about a little earlier, uh, let us pray for uh, all the bereaved families and those that are going through uh, both spiritually and naturally, financially, that the Lord will um, bring them through. And when I say that, I say that with all assurance. Um, there's no lack on God's part. And he has uh, given us everything that we need to pertain to life and godliness. And he has blessed us exceedingly. And there's nothing too hard for him. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, are there any particular prayer requests at this time? We certainly thank you and praise you, Lord, for your richness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and watched over us and kept us to this very hour. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known. Remember, Lord, Sister Davis, Lord, touch her body, touch her mind and her spirit. Remember all the bereaved families, Lord. Remember Sister Connie and her family. Lord, we ask that you touch them and bless them in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you remember our Bible study on tonight. Send forth your words, send forth your anointing, open up our understanding in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know what we need, and you promised in your word that you would supply all of our needs. And we stand on that promise, even on tonight, trusting and believing and hoping in thee. And we ask you, Lord, that you allow uh, each and every one of us, Lord, to receive with meekness the engrafted word of God to the saving of our souls. Father, we thank you and praise you and give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. So we certainly thank God. Amen. Thank God. As we uh, already said, that we have some uh, construction going on, remodeling going on over in the sanctuary. Um, from my, from my understanding, he is even on Sunday. He won't be finished, but we'll be in there on Sunday. We'll just move things around. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Just say one month and don't stop for the show. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So we, we certainly thank God and, and praise God that we still have a place to meet. Amen. 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 To hear the word of God. Amen. I want to uh, 
you go with me uh, over to the book of St. Matthew. The book of St. Matthew, um, chapter number five. The book of St. Matthew, chapter number five. Uh, specifically, we know that as the Sermon on the Mount. And specifically tonight, I wanted to talk about, uh, the Bible talks about uh, what we also call the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. And, and, and the, the, the Sermon on the Mount is with Jesus Christ. And we call him the Messiah because he's the anointed prophet, king, and priest. You know, and uh, because he is anointed, uh, he fulfills all three of those offices. Not, not anyone in history has, in the history of Israel, been the prophet, king, and priest at one time. And Jesus is the Messiah, and, and tonight he's our prophet, he's our teacher. And uh, he taught the, the, the Sermon on the Mount uh, for a particular reason. He taught that because he wanted uh, the children of Israel to know and to us to know uh, what God meant out of the Torah concerning righteousness. And the Torah, as we know, is the five books of the Bible. Uh, those begin in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and what else? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. That makes up the Torah. Amen. And then you got the, the prophets, and then you got the law. And um, out of that, Jesus is giving his interpretation of what righteousness is. The Sermon of the Mount is really an illustration of, of the five books of the law, of the, of, of the Bible, those first five books. And Jesus is giving his interpretation of what is called right. Amen? Of righteousness. Righteousness is a word that deals with behavior. Uh, and it's dealing with what God calls right. <laughs> That's what righteousness is. Not what Frank calls right. Uh, but what call, well, not what you call right. It's, it's what God calls right. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and having said that, um, Jesus, in his time, he was dealing with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And, and they were to be scholars of, uh, well, I'm going to just call it the Bible, which meant the law. And they gave their own interpretation uh, of what God called right. Amen. Amen? There you go. So which one would you want to believe? Now, I want to believe G what Jesus is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what he called right. Uh, uh, the Bible says that all that came before Jesus were thieves and lies. Uh, uh, and, 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 and liars. <laughs> Thank God. And for Jesus, he said it himself. He said, I am the way uh, and the truth and what? The life. And he said, no man coming or to the Father except by what? By me. He, he offered himself as the door. Uh, as the access point. Uh, and he says, anyone that heareth these sayings of mine, he says, I will liken him or her unto a wise man yes. uh, that builds their house upon a rock. Yes. Uh, and then when the storms come, which are the testing trials of life, right. and some people interpret the storms as, as evil spirits coming to attack the saints. Uh, if you if you got that word in you, a uh, man shall not live by what? Bread alone. alone, but by what? Every, Every word. word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You got that word in you. You can be able to withstand the attacks. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Withstand the testing trials. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I got, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost already. <laughs> uh, thank you. Because that's what we want to yes. do. We want to be strong, don't we? Right. Yeah. Uh, strong in the Lord yeah. and in the power of His might. Yeah. Uh, the only way to be strong is to infuse yourself to meditate on the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Day and night. Amen. 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 Night and day. 
Uh, so, so, so the Pharisees, they were, they were giving the people uh, their interpretations to manipulate uh, so, that, so, that, so that they would be doing what they wanted them to do. Uh, so that's why they hated Jesus when he came on the scene because he was exposing everybody. Yes, he was. Uh, exposing right. them. Uh, the Bible right. says men hate darkness uh, rather than light. And Jesus, he was the light. He was exposing stuff. Right. Uh, and then, you know, he didn't back up on them. Uh, now, when there was, there was sinners that, that came to Jesus and they were caught in the very act of sin, he had mercy on them. But those that were to, supposed to be doctors and teachers of the law, he called them white sepulchers. You make people too old, child of hell. Right. Uh, he, was, he was rough on them. Uh, why? Because they were blind leading the blind. Uh, and if the blind lead the blind, what's going to happen? Yeah. All yeah. fall in the ditch. Yeah. Uh, my brother? Yeah, I, I, was thinking, I was thinking of that scripture when Jesus was talking about them, mm -hmm. uh, the men of the law. He was saying that y'all put weight upon men. Yeah. Yes. And, and, you, and you yourselves won't even lift a finger. Yes. At all. Yeah. My Lord. Yeah. And that, see, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. Hypocrites. Yeah. Uh, they <laughs> put yokes on people okay. Okay. Uh, that they themselves, that's the scripture yeah. yeah. that they wouldn't even, with their own finger, they wouldn't even lift it. They wouldn't even attempt to do it. Uh, and they and they added to what God had said. Uh, Bible tells you, don't you can't add to it, can't take away from it. Uh, and they were adding, adding yokes upon me. Amen. 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 Don't don't let nobody put a yoke on you. Uh, that, that, that that God is on you. Jesus, what He says, He said, "Come unto me, uh, all ye that labor, that work." And our heavy laden, those that are burdened. Uh, and then he said, but take my yoke uh, upon you. And then he said, learn of me. Uh, for my yoke is what? Easy. Easy. And my burden is what? Light. 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 Mother, mother, mother Marsh said, if, if, if you serve in Christ is hard, you got the wrong yoke. <laughs> uh, you got the wrong yoke. He said, my yoke is what? Easy. Easy and my burden is light. Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you. So don't let, don't let people yoke you. No. Uh, right. Be yoked with Christ. Bear his burden. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Because he's a burden bearer, isn't he? Uh, he said what? Cast all your cares upon what? Yeah. Upon yeah. him. He what? He cares. He doesn't care about you. Yes. Uh, he cares. Yes. Amen. He cares so much he can be touched you, uh, with the feelings of your infirmity. Yes. He knows your weakness. Yes. All right? Yes. Uh, yes. I'm glad. I'm glad yes. we got a Savior that, that knows about us. Yes. Amen? Amen? And then one more point before we get into uh, the, the, the scriptures. Jesus said uh, in the scriptures that he didn't come to destroy the law, but, but to fulfill it. And that word, fulfill it, it really means he came to give us the right interpretation. Amen? He came to give us the correct interpretation as to what God the Father meant. Right. Uh, my oh God. Is there anyone else qualified to do that? No. Uh, like he is? No. Uh, oh, he came, he said, I come to give you the right interpretation. So so that struck me in this respect. That 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 what Jesus said, we should uh, uh pay or or how we say it in the scripture, give the most earnest heed yeah. uh, to the things that he has said. Yeah. Uh, if we were to go over to the book of, uh, we might as well just go over there right now. Just hold hold that because this is our base scriptures in that in Matthew. But go over uh, to the book of Hebrews. Amen. Hebrews uh, chapter number one. Thank you, Lord. We just go in there for content. Oh, <laughs> uh, here for content. Somebody say content. Okay. Yeah, content. Thank you. I feel like I, I feel like y'all some scholars out here. <laughs> Amen. I love it. Love it. All right. Uh, El, uh, El, will you read from me? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. One and one. Yes. God, uh -huh. who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Uh-huh. Now God at sundry times.
times being in different eras, points in history. He spoke in time past, God did, uh, to the Father. All right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Uh, can I also read? Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Now note, who in these last times has he spoken by? The Son. The Son. And that's who? Jesus. Jesus. So we ought to give the most earnest heed uh, to the things that Jesus taught. Uh, to the things that Jesus said. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, and remember when he was on that mount of transfiguration and uh, 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 Peter, James, and John was there and they saw the image of, 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 of Moses and Elisha and Jesus was there and Peter had the grand idea and said, uh, Master, it's good for us to be here. Let us build a tabernacle for you three. Uh, and then the voice came from heaven. God, the perfect plan of salvation was all gathered in one place. The voice came from heaven. Uh, and, and, and Moses and Elijah disappeared. And God said, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Uh, thank you. He, the buck stops with Jesus. Amen. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Hey, why should you look for another? That's right. Uh, uh, put all your eggs in Jesus' back. Yeah. Uh, my God, my God. Everything's going to be all right. And you know, uh, sometimes I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to say I get envious or jealous. But uh, uh, you remember them three thieves, two thieves that were on the cross with Jesus? Right. Uh, the one berated Jesus, but the other one said, hey, why are you talking about Jesus? And he said, Lord, forgive me. Uh, and Jesus turned to Jim and said, today, uh, you're going to be with me in paradise. Uh, that, that fellow was blessed. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he skipped all the tests in the trial. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. to be able to 
walk with the Lord. Yes. Amen. To live this thing. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to live it. Yes. Uh, got to live it. Uh, not only a hearer of the word, but a what? Doer. So, so teaching is important. Instruction is important because it tells us how to do it. Amen. Amen. How to do it. Thank you, Lord. Let's, uh, let's just skip one uh, right down. Uh, we're going to come back up to that. But I want you to skip down to verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh -huh. But if the salt have lost its savor, mm. wherewith shall it be salted? Uh -huh. It is therefore thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Mm -hmm. Ye are a light of the world. Yeah. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Now, now notice what, what, what Jesus is saying here. We're going to go back to that, uh, that, that second verse. But here, I'm talking about being taught. The, the necessity of being taught. Amen? Notice what he says. He said, ye are the salt of the earth. And what he's really literally referring to, he's referring to uh, the people that lived in Jerusalem. Amen? Jerusalem was the capital city. It was representative of a city of righteousness. A city of holiness. Right? And, and, and then he says, uh, but ye are uh, uh, the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savior, uh, where shall it be salted? Salt is used for influence, uh, for, for preserving. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and the people in Jerusalem, uh, that was a, a representation to us as the body of Christ. Amen? And we are the body of Christ, and we ought to help one another. Uh, we ought to preserve one another. Amen? Amen? We ought to influence one another as the body. I'm talking about strictly here the body of Christ. Amen? We ought to nurture one another. We ought to take care of one another. Amen? We ought to protect and defend one another. Uh, I'm teaching up in here. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and, and this is what the expectation is. Yes. Right? And then once we accomplish that, then he says in verse 14, ye are the what? Life. Now, once since you when you are transformed and renewed <laughs> in the body, uh, then you take it out to be the light of the world. Amen. Uh, it's a twofold thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when he said he are the salt of the earth, he was referring to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, the world ain't the salt. Amen. Uh, the world ain't, ain't this type of influence. No, no. Uh, the world doesn't carry the anointing. Come on now. Uh, come on here. So he wasn't talking about the world. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. he had no, yeah. but he said that once you are converted, yeah. uh, then you take that light yeah. uh, into the world. Don't put it under a bushel. Don't hide my anointing. Don't hide my glory. Don't hide my power. Uh, stand up. Show out. Uh, oh, let your light shine uh, before me. Uh, that they can see uh, your righteousness. That's your good works. So that they can turn around and give all the glory. I ain't got no cross back there. I'm sorry. Give all the glory uh, to your Father. Which is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Be an influencer in here. Right. Uh, but be a light out there. Yes. Yes. Uh, right. uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Alright, let's go. Let's go back. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, Matthew. Chapter number uh, five. five and verse number two. Read. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, uh -huh. 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right, now, there is, can we all agree, there is a lot of unfairness in the world. Oh, yes. Uh, and people don't treat you fair, and some of you probably don't treat other people fair. <laughs> uh, unfair. Uh, it's everywhere. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And 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 oftentimes when we're dealing with a lot of unfairness and and heartache and 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 trouble, it can bring us down. It can affect our attitude. Mm -hmm. It can affect our service with God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. That you know, uh, I'm gonna say this, and I, and I mean this with 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 all sincerity, uh, and and um, all as the scriptures say, all acceptation. You know, you can think yourself into depression. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Amen. Uh -huh. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And, but then you also can think yourself happy. Come on, guys. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And God, He wants you to be optimistic in all things. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, no matter what you're enduring, no matter what you're going through, yes. God always wants you to see the silver lining. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's why I said, count it all, joke. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? When you go through what? Dying. Dying, Dying. Dying means many yes. temptations. Yes, yes. Amen? And, and, and Philippians says, and 4 and 8, tells you what to think on. Think on these things. Whatsoever things are good. Whatsoever things are honest. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Then he tells you to think on these things. Yes. If there be any praise. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Things happen to us. Right. Uh, we go through stuff. Yes. We're not exempt from that. Uh, I've been baptized in Jesus' name for a long time. Uh, I still got a heartache and pain. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. we, and I'm sure you do too. Yes. Uh, trouble on every hand. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. And, 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 and you know, uh, like I said, you know, uh, uh, we, we all have our ups and downs. We all have our turnarounds. Uh, people get on my nerves, and I get on people's nerves. Uh, you get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> we know. You said that twice. <laughs> <laughs> that we know. We do. But but I should never let that get me down. You should never. Allow that to uh, cause you to separate yourself from the love of God. Backslide. Uh, never allow that. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. You have to be like David. When David said he encouraged himself in the Lord. Uh, what that scripture really means is he strengthened uh, himself in the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's your attitude. It's your mindset. Yes. Amen. Jesus taught the truth about it. Mm. Huh? I got never, never allow yourself, amen, to go through some things that will cause you to turn your back on God. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 What's, give, what's the scriptures uh, that, that'll help you? Uh, trust in the Lord. With what? Oh, All your heart. Don't lean to your what? All oh, understanding. But acknowledge Him oh, yes. in all your ways. So He can do what? Direct your path. Amen? Amen. Then, One scripture that helped me was Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Be not overcome of evil. Yes. Overcome evil with good. Come on. That me. That That Yeah. Now, 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 I didn't hear the murmur, but he said I was ready to do some things. He talked about all of us. Yeah. Right. 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 He was just honest. Yeah. Right. Have you ever been at a point where you felt like you was ready to do something? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh, I mean, but the word of God, hopefully, yeah. the word of God came to you. Calm your fears. 
Amen. I was having a hard time at work. Amen. And, and the supervisor was giving me a hard time. Looked like she was on, on assignment from Satan. Uh, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and, and, and the word of the Lord came unto me. He said, work as unto the Lord. Yeah. Uh, and when that scripture came to me and it was printed to me, it didn't matter what she did. Uh, I worked as unto the Lord. Right. I wasn't working to please her. I wasn't working to please the company. I was working to please the Lord. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. This is what he said. When, when a man's ways please the Lord, please the Lord, he makes his enemies uh, become his what? Footstool. The lady came back to me. Uh, said, Frank, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, for the way I treat you. Now uh, she caused me to lose some money, caused me to lose my raise, amen. But in that same year, because I attached myself to work as unto the Lord, I not only got one raise but two. Come on, hallelujah! Yeah, let's go! Yeah, hallelujah! Yeah, uh, let's go! Huh? So, so, so it's your attitude, yeah. huh? That makes the difference. Huh? The enemy can come. He can try to steal, he can try to kill, he can try to destroy. Yeah. Amen? Right. But 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 if I if I get angry, whose fault is that? Yours. Right. Yes. Huh? Bible says, be angry, but do what? Sin. So if I sin, whose fault is that? Yours. Yours. Yes. Mine. Yes. Huh? He can only have, he only has the power to suggest. Right. He doesn't have the power to make me do nothing. Amen. He doesn't have the power to make you do anything. That's right. Amen? But here it is. We can do all things. Right. Huh? Through who? Right. Now, do we believe that? Amen. 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 Uh, some people believe that. <laughs> Amen. 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 And you know, you know, uh, something uh, Deacon Field said, he said, when he was going through it, the scripture came to him. Mm -hmm. Amen? And help him. Right. Uh, it's important uh, for when we're going through that the scripture comes to us. Right. Amen. 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 Am I right? Uh, now, just say for instance, he wasn't studying the word. <laughs> the word will not come to him. Uh, he has to. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Man. He could have called you up for the phone call from the police station. Oh, I hear you. Thank you, Lord. Now, the Bible says you've got to hide the word in your heart. Right. Who has to do the work? You do. You got to put that word in there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm enjoying myself. Thank you, Jesus. All right, read verse 2 again. Verse 2 says, And he opened his mouth, Matthew 5 and 2. Uh -huh. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, focusing in on the beatitude, he said, Blessed. That word blessed means to be not only happy, but it means to be intensely happy. Uh, overwhelmed with happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. As we get through these and go through these, we see that no matter what you're going through, God wants you to still maintain an attitude of not just being happy, but extremely happy. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. They came in Full glory for my house. Huh? Uh, God said, be extremely happy. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Trouble in my way. I got to cry some time. Mm -hmm. God said, Amen. huh? Be extremely happy. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. He can say that because he got your back. <laughs> huh? That he's going to take care of you. You may not know everything. In fact, we don't know everything. But we know him that does. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. That is given unto us great and what? Precious promises. Yes. So he has the authority to say that. Yes. 
jump on that bandwagon and bring these three or four little negative thoughts. Uh, and before you be so far out in the deep, you say, how did I get here? That's the truth. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Look at things in a positive way. Amen. Rejoice. Huh? Give thanks. Bless the Lord. How many times? All, All times. times. Let his praises what? Well. Continually be in your mouth. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. And then cause your soul to make a boast in the Lord. Huh? So that the humble, those that are walking with you, can hear it and be what? Glad. Glad. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Nah, nah, nah. Now notice what he said here. So we, we've identified with blessing. Mm -hmm. Y'all got a working definition of with blessing. Yeah. I like Deacon Field's definition. Can you say that again? It's a promise that comes from God that no matter what goes on and what's happening that he's going to bring you out and you're going to be more beneficial than what it was before you got in. My God. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Hallelujah. That's making me even more happy. Yes. Hallelujah. Because that's what it's about. Yes. I, got, I got some of that in my notes. Huh? We, we bless because we got God's promises. Right. We bless because God got our back. Right. Huh? We bless because He knows He is from the beginning. Yes. Huh? And He's never lost the back. Yes. Just check His back. Yes. Huh? Right. Check the back. Huh? Huh? And then, when you start to cast all that care upon him, the battle belongs to the Lord. It frees you to be happy. Huh? Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Now, notice what he said. Now, notice what he said. Those we said. Blessed are what? The poor in spirit. Uh huh. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, this is a principle that Jesus is teaching us. All right? He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Yes, Lord. For theirs is what? The kingdom of the heaven. The kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen? And then, uh, go, go to Luke, because you know there's. There's two applications here. Luke chapter number four. <coughs> Luke chapter, uh, I'm sorry, two, Luke chapter number six and verse number 20. Thank you, Jesus. Luke, and he, and Luke, he lifted up his, up his eyes on his disciples and said, uh -huh. Blessed be ye poor. Now note, Luke said, Blessed be ye poor. Ma you? Matthew said, Blessed are the poor in what? Spirit. You see that? Matthew, when he was hearing Jesus teach about it, he caught poor in spirit, which means a uh, 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 attitude, uh, mm -hmm. having 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 a a, a attitude that that. Is, is is poor in the sense of you don't not being high minded mm -hmm. uh, but being humble mm -hmm. uh, seeing yourself in need mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah when you walk with Christ you've got to see yourself in need yeah. Amen. you can never see yourself as, as being full and of need of nothing right. uh, you in trouble yeah. just look at the revelation church in chapter number 3 uh, they saw themselves being rich uh, and in need of nothing. Uh, Jesus said, you didn't even know you're naked. <laughs> you're blind. Uh, hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. And wretched. Uh, you always got to see yourself in need. Uh, now, now, when Luke heard the Sermon on the Mount, he said poor. So he interpreted it as being poor, not having no money, mm -hmm. being broke, mm -hmm. huh? still a need. Right. Amen? 
still in need. You follow? Yes. Now, let me ask a question. When we're dealing with the world, what does the world think about people who are poor? Oh, I ain't no more. Yeah. 
When you build that wealth, it becomes your strong tower. Yeah. Right. Huh? It becomes your strength. Yeah. Huh? Your treasure. Yeah. Huh? And not God. Right. It takes the place of God. It literally becomes an idol. Uh, this is some good stuff here. Yeah. That's why I said blessed to be poor, poor in spirit, yeah. uh, needy. Uh, now God don't want you walking around broke. Don't get me wrong. He ain't talking about that. God, God, God. You need money. Yeah. Amen. That's the currency. Yeah. Right. Amen. But He's saying don't, don't go after it and forget about me. Blessed is he who considereth the poor. Yes. A lot of times God will bless you to see what you're going to do with that blessing he gave you. Yes. And a lot of times you know you don't need it. Yes. So a lot of times I'll say, Lord, who, 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 lay someone on my heart. Yes. Who needs, wow. who's in need. And I'll wow. give it to them. Wow. And a lot of times the blessing isn't for you. Wow. It's for someone else. For but God's just trying your heart to see what you're going to do with it. Absolutely. You know, God is an awesome God. Yes. Amen. Because I, 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 I read that scripture. I was going to include it into the Bible class tonight. But in my mind, it didn't make the cut. Mm. Uh, uh, but look at God. Yes. <laughs> God is an awesome God. Consider the poor. Yes. Right. Huh? Yes. Consider them. Amen. God considers the poor. <laughs> wow. So, I'm humble. Go ahead. Yeah, Bishop. It's also a scripture that says um, it's, it's easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than yes. a rich man to make yeah. it into the kingdom of heaven. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Because rich people, uh, they don't care nothing about the poor. They manipulate, lie, steal, and cheat. How we describe how people get rich? That's real. Mm -hmm. uh, and oppress the poor. Yeah. Yeah. Lord doesn't want us to oppress anybody. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you got your foot on somebody's neck, take it all. Amen. 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 Now, go over to Proverbs 28. Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Proverbs 28. And, uh, 28, oh, we, want, we want 26, I mean, we want 6 and, uh, and 22. Oh, we want verse 6, Proverbs 28, verse 6, what does it say? Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, uh -huh. though he be rich. Uh -huh. Better is the poor. That's why Jesus said, blessed are the poor. Blessed, huh? Better is the poor that walketh in his what? Uprightness. And what is uprightness? Righteousness. Righteousness. Amen? Amen? Thank you. Be right. Amen. Be holy. Let God provide your need. Amen? Yes. Amen? Yes. And what I've, what I've come, uh, this is just me, right? What I've come to find out about the Lord is when, when, when I came into the church, I was borrowing money all the time. Mm. Huh? Trying, trying to pay this, trying to pay that. You know, giving and helping. You know what I mean? Doing this and doing that. Right. I, uh, God would show his hand. Blessings would come. Mm. You know? And then as, as, as God saw that I was faithful, huh? He said, if you be faithful over what? A few yes. things. Yes. That's it. Huh? He'll make you ruler over what? Many. 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 Right? And then some years ago, I was, I was in my car and I thought about it. I said, Lord, you know, I ain't borrowed no money in a long time. <laughs> huh? Uh, in fact, I've been loaning folks money. I ain't got no money now. I've been loaning folks money. <laughs> Huh? Come on here. Right. 
Uh, God, God, God had blessed and turned the thing around. I, I didn't even realize he had turned it around. Right. Yeah. I had to think about he turned it around. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Meeting every need. <laughs> Meeting every need. Yeah. You know what God told? He told, I don't know if it was Abraham, it was, it was someone. He said, he said, if, if you would have asked me for it, I would have gave it to you. Uh, thank you, Lord. You just ask God with a righteous and an upright heart. He'll yeah. give it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that was David. That, it was David. That's who it was. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you just ask me. I, I, I will bless you. How many, how many, how many stuff uh, we leaving on the table? <laughs> Well, because we don't have it. Uh, with the right way. Uh, I ain't got to steal your stuff. I ain't got to manipulate you. I ain't got to be jealous about what you got. Huh? Huh? Come on here. We serve God. Huh? All right. Drop down here. We got to move on. Drop down to verse 22. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye. Now look, he that what's that word hasteneth me? In a hurry. In a hurry. Uh, uh, I got three or four jobs. I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to get all kinds of steam. Huh? Hasten, trying to hurry up. Be rich. He that hasteneth to be rich is what? He that hasteneth to be rich hath an evil eye. Hath an evil eye. Huh? Jesus taught, and he said, let your eye be single. Meaning, focused on me. Yes. If your eye is not focused on him, your eye is evil. Mm -hmm. That's deep angle. Yes. That's deep angle. Yes. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, I've been talking this long time. <laughs> Uh, let, keep your focus on him. Amen. And, and let your yay be yay. Yes. And your nay be nay. Because everything other than that coming from what? Evil. Evil. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> For a saint of God. Now get me here. For a saint of God. A child of the king. Yes. For you to be focused on anything else other than what Jesus required mm. is evil. Mm. Our God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good stuff. Mm. All right. Let me, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you why it's evil. All right. Turn with me on into Luke chapter number 8. Lord have mercy. Luke, chapter number 8, and verse 7, and then drop down to 14. Verse 7? Yep, 8 and 7. This is the parable, see the soul. And some fell among thorns. Some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up with it. And the thorns did what? Sprang up with it. Sprang up with it. And choked it. And did what? Choked it. Choked it. Mm -hmm. This is people that's trying to be rich. Mm -hmm. Right? The word of God comes to them. Amen? And it fell among thorns. Amen? Mm -hmm. And that word was choked. Then it sprang up. All right? Now, let's go to the interpretation. Jesus gave the interpretation. Drop down to verse 17. For nothing is secret. I'm sorry, verse 14. And that which fell among thorns are they. Now listen. That which fell among thorns are they. Read. Which when they have heard. When they've heard the word. Go forth. They go forth. And are choked with cares. And riches and pleasures of this life. Won't that do it? Yeah. That'll do it. True story. I was one of them folks that had two jobs. 
Huh? Came home tired, beat down, worn out. Huh? No good for nothing. Angry, beat my kids. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't for me. Right? And, and I was, I was, I remember, I was working, and because I was I was a TSS worker. And a TSS worker, you know, you get your little kid. Uh, and I was working with a little kid, and he had issues. And uh, we went to the wild. And I'm telling him, man, don't do that. Don't go back in that pool. Sit down. Come back. Don't do it. And he did it. Uh, and then I must have looked at him crazy because then he said, you can't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I must have, whoa. He pushed all kind of buttons. Yes, and then when he said, you can't hit me, I saw oh, Frank, you losing. <laughs> yeah, he did. He snapped you back. I was chained. <laughs> that was the law. And 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 I went to Detroit that weekend, and 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 Bishop Adolphus Cass was preaching, and he preached, "Do it at home. Do it at home." And he and that that word pricked my heart that the Lord began to deal with me. And he says, He said, He said, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Huh? And I'm and he preaching that word. Y'all been down there with them preachers preaching, and I'm sitting in my seat crying like a baby. Tears running down my eyes. You would think he would stop preaching and gave me a hanky, but he kept on preaching. <laughs> huh? Thank you, Lord. And the Lord was saying, drop that job. Huh? I am your sheep. Huh? The cares of the world is taking you over. Huh? Let it go. Or you're going to backslide. Huh? Y'all know what I did? Let it go. That Monday, and in my resignation, two year, two week notice, I'm out. Huh? God is a good God. Yes, he is. That was God showing me mercy. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Now notice, read that verse again. And that which <laughs> fell among thorns are they. Uh -huh. Which when they have heard, go forth. Uh -huh. And are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life. What chokes that word? Cares. cares. Riches. 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 Pleasures. 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 Of this life. Of this life. We can't delight ourselves in the world. No. No. We got to delight ourselves in the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now don't get me wrong. You got two jobs, and the Lord is meeting your needs, and it's not choking you. You know, go for it. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? But if but if something it's, you ain't got to have two jobs. You just have one job. <laughs> Look at God. Huh? Well, is there anything choking you? Let that thing go. Huh? Well, this world is a loose garment. Huh? Let it go. Don't let nothing interfere with you and serving Him. Amen. Pride, let it go. Anger, let it go. Huh? Money, let it go. Am I right? Whatever it is, let it go. Amen? Now you may say, well, that's easy to say and do, Pastor. But you better come to a point where it's easy to do and say. Amen? That rich man, he had trouble. Jesus said, hey, sell all that you have. Follow me. He said, what can I do to be saved? He said, sell everything you have. Follow me. And give, give that what you have to the poor. He couldn't do it. He went away how? 
sorrowful. Heavy, heavily sorrowful. Yeah. Heavily sorrowful. <laughs> huh? Don't let that bring that kind of sorrow on you. Man, woman, boy, or girl. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. When you say you can have one job, I remember when I did a lot of overtime. Oh. I mean, yeah, yes. But the thing is, the Lord blessed me, I never missed church. Yeah. I did a lot of overtime, but I, the Lord blessed me where he gave me strength to come to church. I never missed church. I uh -huh. missed church. One time I did eight months straight every day. Wow. Seven days a week. Wow. Straight for eight months. Wow. Overtime it was mandatory. Wow. And I, if I had taken off, I would have had to take points and all that. Lord bless me because if you remember, I had a Sunday school class. Yeah. And the Lord put it in my mind, you have to be in church. You have to teach. My and Lord. He gave me the strength to be there. And every day after I got done reviewing my class, I would go home and get ready for work. Same thing over and over again. My and Lord. then on the weekend, on like, um, I had accumulated um, like a vacation and personal time. Mm -hmm. During the week, I would take off some time just to hear the Bible class, you know. I would take some of my personal vacation time, but I never miss church. My, my, my. Yeah, God bless me. Yeah, God bless me. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. my, my, my. I was young, then. Young? <laughs> 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 my, my, my. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go over here. I'm trying to finish this point up. Let's go over to First Timothy. Uh, six. First Timothy six. We're going to verses nine, seventeen, and eighteen. First law, first lady. First nine. Uh huh. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Now know it. Jesus said, blessed are the poor, poor in spirit. Luke said, blessed are the poor. Amen? Amen. And this is the reason why. They that seek to be rich, what? Read. Read that verse again. Oh, you're trying to find it? But they, that, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. All right. They that seek to be rich fall into what? Temptation. 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 We, we, what else did I tell you? Drop down to uh, yep, 17, 18. Yep. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded. All right, now what? Don't be what? High minded. High minded. Mm -hmm. If God bless you with some money that you in your category thinking you rich, don't be high minded. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What's high minded mean? Love yourself. Pride. Pride. What comes before a fall? Pride. pride. Huh? God hates pride. Yeah. Am I right? Amen. Read. Nor trust in uncertain riches. Now, don't trust in that. Amen. I got it. Uh, you can have more money. Huh? Stop. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and your own bank. Don't trust in that. She was going on on the Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah. huh? Now they're being investigated. And I'm sure they're going to find somebody that, that knew it was going on, bailed out, and made a whole lot of money. Yeah. Uh, because that's greed. That's the environment. Yeah. Amen? Mm. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Nor trust in uncertain riches, uh -huh. but in the living God. But trust in who? God. Trust in God. Trust in Him. Yes, Lord. Amen. Give your tithes and offerings. Amen. Trust in Him. Amen. 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 Huh? So, so seed. Amen. 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 Plant seed. 
more blessed to what? Give yeah. than receive. Plant seed. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. You sit, plant a seed. Mm -hmm. You broke, plant a seed. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, you depressed, plant a seed. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Come on here! Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Plant a seed! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I get the time and offerings envelopes and I can see all the seeds. People put all kind of initials on it. On it. You know, because they, 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 they want God to move. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. God is an awesome God. Trust him. Amen? If he's telling you don't seek money, then don't seek money. Plant seed. Huh? Because seed does what? Sprout up and what? Grow. But yes, harvest. and what? Harvest. Huh? Harvest. Harvest is what? Multiply. <laughs> Woo! We got that. We got that. We got that. Huh? Multiply. Fruit. Harvest. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of us are still so poor. And I don't mean poor, poor, but we're just poor and we don't get the things that we desire from God. It's because we steal our tithes and all. Woo! That's a problem. That's a problem. Huh? That's a stumbling block. And I said steal because the scripture says, will a man rob God? Right? That's a stumbling block. That's a stumbling block, ain't it? It is. It is. Huh? And, and you know, this is what we do. This is what we do if we're not careful. I'm sure nobody in here does it. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, uh, how can I not have lost my thought? You, you, you don't do your part, but you want God to do his part. Because nobody in here does that. Maybe. I know. But, 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 but that happens. And if you ain't doing your part, you can cry out till you blue in the face. It ain't gonna move God. Huh? What moves God? Obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That's what moves God. It would involve even move some people because a lot of people know if you're not doing right by God, I'm not gonna help you because God will bless us or stop my blessing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not gonna aid you in your wrong. I feel. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Trust all things to enjoy. What verse is that? That was in 17. All right. Now, God gives you what? All, all things. Uh, but richly. He blesses us richly. Read that again. Uh, but, but in the... I'm going to read the whole thing. Okay. All right. Charge them that are rich in this world... That they be not high-minded. Don't be high-minded. Nor trust in uncertain riches. Don't trust in uncertain riches. But in the living God. But trust in who? The living, the living God. Who giveth us richly who? all things to enjoy. Now notice, God gives you richly mm -hmm. uh, everything to do what? <laughs> enjoy. enjoy. God wants you to enjoy a nice house. Yeah. He wants you to have nice clothes. Because yeah. uh, you represent him in his kingdom. Yes. Uh, if you're walking around looking like a pauper, what does that sound, what does that, how does that represent God? Huh? If he's a king, if you, no, 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 who can I, oh, I want to, can I gotta say this? He, look at Solomon. Solomon was blessed immensely. Amen? He was blessed so that even Queen of Sheba uh, came uh, from where she was to see what he, what he had. And then when she left, she said, even the half hasn't been told. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. The reason why Solomon was blessed like that, yeah. huh? because, because uh, uh, he trusted in God. Yeah. And not only was Solomon blessed, but his subjects were blessed. Yeah. Right. They ain't off of gold plates. Yeah. Huh? Huh? They lived in nice houses. Yeah. Huh? That's what he treated them. Not only the king is blessed, but those who he serves, who serves the king, is blessed. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord, my God. Thank you, Jesus. What it look like? 
Solomon in the palace and you in the, in, 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 in the, in the ghetto. Mm. Huh? <laughs> that ain't good. Right. Huh? Come on here, somebody. I, I didn't mean to teach about money, but I must be teaching about money. Somebody, somebody gonna get blessed. Solomon trusted God and had faith in God, but he was also he he loved God people. He loved them. Yeah, but that's what he was asking God for. How he wanted to know how to go about, you know, his people. Yeah. Uh, he said, "Your people are, are great. Great. You know, teach me how to go in and out. Teach me, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Amen." God wants you to prosper. Amen. 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 Do we believe that? Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And God, but God wants you to, to prosper His way. Yes. Uh, through Him. Yes. So He can get the glory. Yes. I read. 18. Uh -huh. They that do good, that they be, in, be rich in good works. Uh, now notice, here it is. God, instead of focusing in on money, focus in on good works. Focus in on doing good. Huh? Focus in on helping others. Huh? Focus in on love. Treat people right. Huh? Oh, uh, he got, but this is the ladies first, but we'll let him go first. Go ahead. Oh, I remember uh, someone was saying that they had a child that used to always ask them for things. I need this. I need this. And it, it, it bothers you when you're around poor people to a certain extent. And because they, they, they always in need of something. They always asking for something. Can you help me? Can you do this? Can you do that? Like, can you leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, why is it, why is it like that? I know the Bible said the poor is, is hated and despised. But um, notice, notice what you say. You say it bothers me. You know what I mean? At some point, right? So what 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 does the Bible say? Bless it, huh? So when you're in that situation, you can't think on. These poor folk is bothering me. <laughs> we gotta find something to thank God for. <laughs> Lord, I'm thanking that I'm in a position to help you folks. Yeah. 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 Huh? Rejoice! Help me out! Huh? You follow me? Now, 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 let me just say this. Let me just say this. Because there's, there's, there's people that we know we'd be. Uh, asking us for money, asking y'all for money, you have to sign. Uh, thank you, Lord. I, I had one guy, he came to me, I was giving me some coffee, he came to me. One day, I gave him some money, the very next day, he stopped me, I said, man, I just gave you some money. <laughs> you, know, you know, now you're trying to abuse me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I said, Lord, why is it when you lay people on my heart, I always do what you tell me to do. I give them what you tell me to give them. Mm -hmm. I said, now I've been begging you for years to lay me on someone's heart. I said, every time I ask you, you nothing ever happens. Uh -huh. So one night I was in a Bible class and Pastor Ratcliffe was teaching. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, you know, me and him was having a Bible class, and she was teaching. He said, give oh, Pastor, okay. give Pastor Ratcliffe such and such. Uh -huh. And I said, Pastor Ratcliffe? Uh -huh. I said, she don't need it. And the Lord said, see, he said, just like you said, she don't need it. I laid them on, I laid you on someone's heart. Uh -huh. He said, but they did the same thing you just oh, did. Wow. They looked at how you dressed. They looked at your car. They looked at your home. Yeah. He said, they said, you don't need it. Wow. And I, I've never had a problem with that since. Wow. So the thing <laughs> is, after Bible class, I went and gave Pastor Rackler what I was supposed to give her. Yeah. And I told her about it. She just smiled and, and laughed. But it, a lot of times we miss out on our blessings that way too. Yeah. By not doing, if God tells you to give somebody something, uh, you give it to them. Bless them. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking, because that, that was another point that I was going to go to. Uh, that uh, once you release it, once you give it, mm -hmm. uh, it no longer belongs to you. Right. Uh, let it go. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, and and we, who cares what they do with it? Right. Uh, yes. uh, you can't control them. Right. Uh, right. You just being obedient. Right. Yes. Uh, right. Right. Remember I told you about that guy that I gave my nice uh, wool coat to? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I keep thinking about that. Uh, but the Lord dealt, that's how he dealt with me. He said, now, it was it was yours, but you gave it away. Yes. Let it go. Yes. <laughs> huh? Let it go. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. You did your part. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, Jesus. We're going to have to finish this up. Amen. I only got to one. <laughs> uh, blessed are the poor in spirit. Uh, now that poor in spirit, it also represents the mind of Christ. Uh, having the spirit of Christ. Amen. We ought to pray to God and ask him for the mind of Christ. The spirit of Christ. And what I mean by that is this. Is that uh, when 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 you do things, you want to have the same attitude Christ had. Right. Hmm? The same mind Christ had. Yes. Amen. Uh, My brother? I was gonna say, you know, if you got your whole refrigerator full 